Okay guys, my name is Lens and I want you to join the Lens Empire by subscribing to my YouTube channel and also smash the like button. I'm Lens. Okay guys, Lens here and in this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is that there's a problem that I came across with this phone. I'm gonna show you what the problem is. The keyboard is not working. If we go into WhatsApp for some reason, uh, we can't use the keyboard to type in any way. So I'm gonna just demonstrate to you what I'm talking about. So I want to connect to my Wi Fi here. Yeah? And if you can see here, it is telling me tap to speak. When I go ahead and I tap to speak, nothing is happening. And the funny thing about it is that we can't do anything. We can't put in our password. We can't do the text to speech. And also we can't change the keyboard. I'm going to go into language and input where the keyboard option is and as you can see here keyboard and input method google voice typing right when i go here i want to change the keyboard nothing is happening here there isn't any other options that are here that we can choose there only one option so my thing is i don't know how this problem occurred but i'm thinking probably it happened during some sort of update that wasn't done successfully or something like that so right now this phone is sort of render useless because we cannot do any typing whatsoever but i'm gonna go and see if i can send a text message this is what i'm gonna do to see if i can send a text message here uh i'm gonna try to do so okay so let me go ahead go into the new button here hello hello so here we can see that it is working in the message area and it's sort of trying to detect what i'm saying which is very cool this is a cool feature so what i'm saying is that we need a google keyboard and to be honest i should have been able to just rectify this in just going into language and import and current keyboard i should have some sort of options here uh the, the fastest way i'm gonna do to fix this method is that i'm gonna turn the phone off and i'm gonna install a keyboard as in i'm gonna install the google keyboard so we can use the keyboard so i'm gonna go ahead and install google app i have the gboard original google apk app in on this sd card so I'm gonna use this SD card to install the Google keyboard. And this is basically a shortcut that I'm gonna be using just to eliminate the whole idea of resetting this phone or doing over the phone system. This is a simple way of solving this issue uh, I could have downloaded the app directly from the phone, but I cannot get to put in my wireless password. It's not going in. It's not even going in. The text-to-speech isn't working. The only thing that it is working on so far is the message, the text message. 
it's not working in whatsapp it is not working properly so if it happens that you come across this problem this is a way of uh, resolving this issue for those of you who are experiencing this problem or similar problem you can comment down below and also let me know what's happening and let me know what's going on with your phone and the problem you're experiencing so here the first thing we would have to do here we would have to go to settings and we would need to take off the security option here in security so we can install unknown application so i'm gonna go now to the file manager on this phone here i can see internal storage here and here is the sd card i'm gonna be looking for the gboard app and you can see it right here gboard the google keyboard i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna open this application the apk for the gboard google keyboard i'm gonna go install this app and hopefully this should solve the problem with our phone with our keyboard not working on the other hand if it happens that that setting is disabled you can go into language and input and put on your keyboard settings but for this phone it is not showing up it is not there i don't know what happened so i'm here doing a quick simple solution in solving this issue so i'm just waiting for this to finish install so we are done here i'm gonna go right ahead and open so now you can see the gboard keyboard settings showing up in the phone i'm just gonna go back and see where that take me to what i'm gonna be doing now i'm gonna come out and i'm gonna go into settings language and input and now i'm gonna go to current keyboard here and now you can see that gboard is showing up it was not showing before so i'm gonna choose keyboard it was not showing before i'm gonna choose gboard this one here so i'm gonna take off the automatic voice typing and i'm gonna put the keyboard is on already this should be a permanent software i have no idea how it came off or what had happened but my theory is that maybe for some reason it came off while it was updated to reset your device to factory mode like when you just purchase it uh, but i would say that this is the easiest way of getting by doing this i happen to use this app that i downloaded on my computer to solve this problem which is more easier uh, we could not have downloaded directly on the phone due to the problem that we can't put in our wireless password so this is a quick fix here and i do hope that this video was helpful to those of you who are searching to remedy this problem that you're experiencing uh, i'm lens and again i would like you guys to subscribe to my channel and also for comments and questions comment down below i'll try my best to help you this is what i use to hook up my sd card
to my computer it's a SD adapter so this is what I use to download a Google keyboard Gboard and I download the APK loaded it on this SD card put the SD card in and install the keyboard I'm gonna show you what you need to do after you finish doing all of this it's very important to take off the security setting which is the unknown app feature installer settings that we put on in order to install this third party app that's how it would register if it didn't install from one of those software like play store so we need to go into security and now we need to just take off unknown sources so if it happens that you don't want to leave unknown sources on because for some reason you can download an app that could just download multiple apps on your device and you will not want that to happen because there are a lot of different apps out there you download one app and that will just download multiple apps of itself so to eliminate that problem take off unknown sources let me stick to play store and let me stick in playing the game safe so again i'm lens i hope that this video was helpful subscribe peace out